Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a lookup that has multiple criteria. So what does that mean? Let's say, for example, we have this table. It's a unique set of records here. And we want to look up the make, year, and color, and bring back quantity and region. Now, the quantity is a numeric value. That's going to bring back this value. And the region is textual value. That's going to bring back the values here in column K. I had done a previous video where we were looking up the quantity. And I'm going to go through the formula quite quickly here. There's another video that I created that will go through this step by step. But let's see how this one looks. This is going to be using a function called sum product. Press tab. And what we want to do is we want to look at this array. The first array is the make here. So I'll select G2, control shift down arrow to G38. Press F4 to lock that in. So it doesn't change when I copy this formula over. That has to equal this value. And we're going to put that in parentheses. And, and the next step is multiplying the value for the years of this array with that. So open parentheses, select this one, control shift down arrow, press the F4 key. That has to equal this value. Do the same thing for the color row. Open parentheses, whoops, times, open parentheses, select the color, control shift down arrow, press F4 to put the dollar signs in front of there. That has to equal cell C2, which is that color blue. And now the last one is we're going to multiply it by the quantity. Open parentheses, control shift down arrow, press F4, close parentheses, and press enter. Whoops, I forgot to put that last closing parentheses there. Excel says, can we correct this for you? Of course, thank you, Excel. And now we have BMW 2001 blue. We have BMW 2001 blue. It gives us 23. Now with this particular formula, if we wanted to bring back text, it doesn't do it very well. Let's see how that works. So if I just select that control C to copy, press escape to get out of ed mode, go into cell E2 here, Control-V to paste. And instead of having that last one quantity, I'm just going to select this and move it over to region. Press Enter. And now you notice it gives a number value. Because what it's doing is it's turning all these equals A2, equals B2, equals C2. Those are true and falses. They turn into ones and zeros once the multiplication takes into effect. And now it's trying to multiply this value here, which is text. You're multiplying numbers by text, you're going to get an error. So in this particular example, we have to wrap this sum product in an index function. Type index, open parentheses, the array is going to be the cell. K to K, comma, what's my row number? This particular function is fine. What I need to do is wrap this K2 to K38 in a function called row. Press tab, got that parentheses, and you can see that it's asking for a column name. Well, since this column here, this index, this array, KK, is only one column, you can see the formula is asking for a column name, but since it's in square brackets, that is optional. I can put in comma one and close parentheses, or I can just leave it. And it's gonna work just fine if I close parentheses, but for good, I guess for good formula hygiene, We'll just add that one there because we're, even though it's only one column in that array, we're asking for one, the first column. Close parentheses, press enter, and now you're going to have one north, which is blue, BMW 2001 blue, BMW 2001 blue, and it's north. If I change this to, let's say, let's try GMC 1997 Puce. GMC 1997 Puce. Right, so we have 13 and East. Right? You notice that there was some kind of error here, right? If I, let's just make this Acra so we can just look at the first one. If I had Acra 1995 Violet, we have, we have our correct results, 41 and East. Let's change this to blue. So it's going to tell us quantity zero, which is kind of correct because there, 
if we're looking at quantity, zero could be the correct amount because if we're looking at quantity of acres that are 99 to 5 in blue, there are zero quantities, with, right? But this looks really odd. Why does it say east? What is happening here is this value, it's doing the same thing here. It's multiplying everything and trues and falses. True is number one, false is zero. It's also doing the same thing here. But the reason why it brings back east is because of our index function, it's going to treat that zero as being in the same line as that. So it's going to bring back east. You notice if we did something like this, we copy everything down, it's going to bring back west because west is the first value there. In essence, it's saying if you bring back zero, I'm just going to bring back the result from that line that I'm on. To remedy that, what we can do is put an if statement here saying that if press tab to open parentheses. What we're going to say is if that logical test equals zero, then make it non-applicable. That NA function says it's not applicable. Now, if it doesn't equal zero, then let's put this whole thing in there. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. I think that over, over spilled there. And that's a little bit too big. Let's make that smaller. And we're still in our logical test, so I need another parentheses. And another parentheses. Let's see, I'm back into my index. Press enter. We found an, let's see, I think it needed another parentheses. One, two, three, four. Okay, corrected me and I said you need another parentheses. I'll say, okay, let's take that correction. Click yes. And now it says NA, right? Because there is no accurate 1995 blue. It becomes NA. I drag the formula down. And that should result in an NA too. So if I said Audi, this is our second one, 2012, blue, oh, blue was correct here. We have 45 and west. We have 45 and west. But if I change that to green, it's going to be zero quantity because there's no there's no Audis that are 19, uh, 2012 and green, so that's zero. And the region is non-applicable because there's no region that, that is applied to this. So that's the way that we can solve around that issue when we're looking for text output based on this way of doing lookups using multiple criteria. With the number output, we might not have that problem, but with text output, we may have that problem. So that's why we're going to wrap that in an if statement here. So it looks a little hairy, but actually it's not that bad. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.